Bring home a story, yeah. If I can only get a campsite. <laughs> are you looking for a place to camp this summer in Yosemite National Park and are coming up empty on recreation.gov? Yeah, I've been there many, many times. If you don't book your site the minute they become available at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, then you're probably gonna be out of luck. And the bummer is people will book them all up and sometimes they don't use them and they don't cancel. It's super frustrating. Well, I have some tips for you. Welcome to Yosemite. Here is your parking pass. Last year, I camped outside of Yosemite mainly because in 2020, the park was open, but the camping wasn't. So I have a few tips for you guys of where we stayed and a few locations that uh, you might want to check out. So stay tuned. Before you actually get to Yosemite or before you go on your trip, make sure you do have an entrance reservation. If you have a national park pass, it only costs you $2 to reserve it. If you don't have a national park pass, I think it's $35, but book ahead and a lot of national parks are doing that this year in 2021, mainly to um, alleviate some of the crowds. And honestly, I, I like it because the parks are not as busy as they've been in the past and you, you really can enjoy it. Last summer we stayed at Fish Camp. It's about a mile and a half outside of the southern entrance of Yosemite National Park. And it's $34. You do reserve your site on recreation.gov. They do have some first come first serve sites and you do have, obviously have to be there in person to get them. Great location and a great campground. Another place that I would recommend checking out is called Yosemite West. It's a private community of uh, vacation rentals, and I think there are some permanent residents that live in this community. It's by Glacier Point Road, so you do have to get inside the park, but if you have a reservation, you're not gonna need that entrance ticket. We found a cute little place that we booked on Airbnb. We were up there in April of 2019, and it was great. It had a hot tub, and it was plenty of room for our group. Another location is off of 140, which is on the west side in a little town called El Portal. There's camping, there's hotels, and um, you really are not gonna have much luck if you're trying to boondock and do the van lifer kind of life. Uh, the locals are on to us, and there were signs up on all of their properties that said no camping. We didn't find any forest roads over on that side. Maybe we missed them, don't know. But we ended up staying at Indian Flat RV Park. And it wasn't anything amazing, but we had a parking spot and it cost 20 to $30 if you're gonna camp. They do have tent cabins there and I believe they were around 135. I'll leave all the information uh, in the description below of how you can check that place out. This location is 30 minutes from the Arch Rock entrance off of 140. Check that place out if you're coming in from the west side. If you're coming in from the east off of the 395, there are several campsites over on that side that are in the Inyo National Forest that's outside of Yosemite National Park, but not very far outside of the park. All of them are first come first serve. There's 10 sites and three of them are actually next to lakes, which is kind of a bonus. It's beautiful over there. The only downside I see for first come first serve sites is obviously you don't have a reservation, so you have to be a little um, adventurous and um, just hope to get a site or make some new friends and maybe share a site. One thing that we did learn was when you do have a site, people may drive through the park in the middle of the night looking for a site. So bring your plugs for that one. A tip I have for you for getting a first come first serve site is go in the morning when people are packing up, especially if it's during the busy time, which is July and August in the summer here. And uh, just park your car, walk around the campground and check out the little tags on the posts and see who's leaving. If they are leaving, politely ask if you can nab their site. Most people are gonna say yes. I mean, that's what we did and that's what people did when we were camping up there. And uh, yeah, you can get their site. Okay, you guys, that is all I have for you today. I hope you found this helpful. I'll leave links in the description below of all of the locations that I just talked about. And I uh, hope you have some good luck this summer and get up to the national parks in Yosemite and uh, go have yourself an adventure. See you guys on the trails in the next video.